Hello Scorpios, thanks so much for joining me for the June of 2022 Psychic Tarot Reading. My name is Vicki Verley and you can find me at VickiVerley.com. Do not be fooled by imposters. Okay, let's get right into the cards that we're going to use. We're going to use the Rock and Roll Tarot deck, which is my uh, own creation, followed up by the second part of the reading. We're going to use the Morgan Greer, Mini Morgan Greer deck. Then of course we're going to pull an, a, the Animal Totem card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards. And then if you are a Patreon supporter, there's going to be some additional cards pulled from the Songs for the Journey Home. Alright everybody, so it's the Solstice. We're on June 20th or 21st, depending on your location, is the Solstice. Summer Solstice in the Northern Hemisphere, Winter Solstice in the Southern Hemisphere. But wherever you're at, the point is that it is a, ch a change. It's a shift. It's a change in seasons. It's in the collective. It's a big shift that occurs and everybody feels it. Um, it's moving into the water sign energy. So you are a water sign, Scorpio. So that would tell us that it's in, uh, it's harmonious. You know, it's making harmonious aspects to your water sign energy. And there could be a lot of positive flow coming your way. Okay. All right. So let's start shuffle, get the cards laid out here. We're going to start with the Celtic cross. With this Rock and Roll Tarot deck, it's designed in a way that if any of the words or anything stands out to you, do take note of it because that is the way that the universe can give you a message that is just you, just for you, a personal message in this general reading. Okay, so let's see here. What do we got? I mean, when I said, what do we got, I heard it's like a cheer and I was never into any of this stuff. What do we got? Duh, what are we gonna do? Or not, you know, it's like a cheer. What do we got? Answer. What do we do? Answer. Da da da. Answer. You know, it's some kind of like a, a cheer for a sports teams maybe or something. I don't know. <laughs> that was coming through. Well, you know, the very first card out was the um, the five of rods. So you know, we just came out of the full moon eclipse in your sign. And I'm Scorpio rising, and there was some tumultuous stuff going down. What's something, 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 something going down, going down, or going around, going around. There's a whole lot of something going around. Some song was trying to come through, but I'm not quite grabbing it. If anybody recognizes it, um, going down, going around. There's a whole lot of something going around. Something is not the word. I'm something is me filling and putting a blank there. But anyways, you know, there's been some stuff and it feels like, you know, you're kind of, and the moon is right below it. So I'm sure it has something to do with that moon or the solar eclipse or the lunar eclipse. We got both. But that being said, because the sun and the moon are showing up, let's look at the, the new and full moons for this month. Because we have, well, there is a new moon in Taurus, excuse me, in Gemini at the very last part of May. That really sets the tone for the upcoming month of June. So we've got that. That's on May 30th, I believe. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, May 30th, we have the, the uh, new moon in Gemini. That sets the tone for the month. Then mid-month on the 14th, we have the full moon in Sagittarius. And then all the way at the end, we have... On, oh, excuse me, I'm going to cough. Hold on. My voice is getting a little hoarse here. At the very end of the month, we, we will have that um, another new moon on the 28th of June, and that's going to be in the sign of Cancer. That's after the sun moves into Cancer. Excuse me again while I get a cough drop. Honey cough drop, coat that horse throat there. Okay, so these new moons and stuff could be important coming up, but I really do feel like it's, you know, you just had, we were just involved in the eclipses in a major way there. But I feel like for many of you, it kind of cleared the air. And if nothing, they're saying it gave you something to think about. <laughs> That's what they're saying. All the events that have just been going on here. And there is, uh, you know, something to be said for this happiness and celebration that's coming up. There could be some kind of happiness and celebration that's coming up. Your ships are coming in. You may be celebrating some big success of your own. Or you may be going and, and celebrating some big life event for somebody else. I mean, in June, again, there's, you know, birthdays, there's uh, graduations, weddings, all sorts of things like that always happen uh, in the month of June. So, you know, it could be something like that. But 
I'm, but the thing I'm getting is personal victory. I want to write that down as a potential headline for you, personal victory. I feel like it's a personal victory for you. I feel like you've really come through this the gauntlet or the shredder or whatever was going on during this whole eclipse season. I mean, there's more to come. We're going to have another round in the fall and again next spring, but we got we got a little breather right now. And... There's offers coming, but I feel like this is more like you, after maybe after all the chaos of the of the everything that went down there in May. You know, maybe you just want to take a little breather, um, and while you're in this meditative state and while you're in this pause and reflection, you will be getting the enlightenment because the hangman is enlightened. He's not being strangled. He's being enlightened. And if you look at this card, yeah, it could be a tangible offer in the physical world, but the hand really comes out of the cloud. So it could, uh, I might have switched these around if I did, sorry. Um, but that means it's coming through through spirit. You know, you may be doubting yourself. Five of, five of Pentacles is like, I'm doubting myself. I just feel like, ugh, I can't do it anymore, or I'm not good enough, or whatever the case. But the final outcome is the Knight of Pentacles, and that's saying, yes, you can do it. Yes, you can be successful. Yes, you can be an entrepreneur. You can, you know, you can get in something that's reliable and steady and prosperous. And you can do it. And you can, you know, you can take this money. Some of you may be considering taking a, a piece of money, like a chunk of money, and investing it in some way, in a business or something like that. And that looks like that would be really work out really well for you. Okay, now you are water sign energy. So I'm going to do another. Second part of this spread, we're going to use our Morgan Greer, mini Morgan Greer. And we're going to look for you in the spread. So you will show up as either the Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, or King of Cups. Whoever shows up first, regardless of gender or age, that will be the card that represents you or the significator. And then we're going to just look at the cards that are surrounding you and it should come out in the spread. So let's get started. I may not address every single card in this. I probably won't. So, but if they show up for you, or anything shows up for you that stands out or rings a bell or grabs your attention, oh, you came out right away. Oh, this, you came out right away. So, in that case, I'm going to move a lot of this stuff down. And we'll, I'll zoom in to make it more, you know, it's a little bit of chaos. It looks a little chaotic right now, but I do want to get one more row below you, and then we're going to zoom in and really take a good look at this. Okay, so let's zoom in and pull this down a tinch and zoom in even just a little more. There we go. So here you are. You did show up pretty fast. I feel like when you show up pretty fast, things you're trying to manifest could happen pretty fast, even though you do have the strength card here. So that talks about, you know, having strength and patience and waiting around. There's quite a bit of love energy showing up here. You have the Two of Cups, the Soulmate card. You have the Ten of Cups, the Marriage card, and the Six of Cups, which is, you know, sometimes reuniting with somebody from the past, but also a love card. You know, definitely a love card. So there's quite a bit of love energy, and it looks like it could be involved with this, this Pentacle person, this Earth sign person. So the Pentacle people are Earth sign people, are the Tauruses, the Capricorn, or the Virgo. And look who is the finest. You have the Knight of Cups, I mean Knight of Pentacles, in your row. You're looking right at them. And who was the final outcome in the last part of the reading but the, the Knight of Pentacles. So it's definitely the Knight of Pentacles is somebody of importance to you. Could be somebody a little younger. Now the soulmate energy, highly likely it's a love thing. I mean, that's the usual thing, you know, it's a love thing. But could be, um, you know, could be anybody. You have a lot of soulmates in your life. Not just They're not just your lovers. Or not, you, know, you have your friends, your... You know, co-workers sometimes to anybody that you're involved with you know a lot of times they're going to be your soulmate um maybe you've been waiting around for a while with the four of swords got strength and the four of swords so could it be waiting around for a little while for this it seems like there's a lot of anxiety around this a lot somebody either it's you just having a lot of anxiety or somebody you or that person is bringing in a lot of baggage because we do have these nine and ten of swords here about this being you know, really stressed out, really having a lot of hurt feelings, having to get over these hurt feelings. We've got the Hermit here. So there's this Four of Swords healing time. 
potentially from the last relationship. Um, some of you may be taking somebody back. That's not the case in all case, in every case. Because I feel more stronger that this is you taking yourself back. This is you finding yourself again, or feeling like yourself again, or feeling, you know, better again. And whatever this whole thing was here, it definitely was some big karmic cycle that was completed. And that's what the nodes are. You know, well, the nodes which cause the eclipses are these big karmic cycles. So we're going to look back to, again, here's the last time we had these eclipse cycles. We had it in 2003 to 2004, and then we had them again in the 84 to 86, or in even to 66 or 67, depending on your age. So these are the dates. These are the things, these are the time frames that are coming. These same karmic lessons are coming back into play again. Shown here, and it's part of the astrology as well. And these eclipses are really bringing that stuff forward out into the open for you to deal with. But here's the thing: you don't have to. Look at that song out of the Utopia. Let me off this wheel of karma. You know, you, you don't have to stay on the wheel of karma. It, when, especially when it comes around to this, you know, renewal time. These nodal returns and these different things that are happening. You can get off. You don't have to stay in this stuff. It's a chance to jump off, um, you know, the merry-go-round and get off and go off on your own direction or in a different direction. You don't have to stay on there for another 19, 20 years. You know, you can get off and, and go, go a different way and find different kinds of, uh, have a different outcome than you did back then. Or if you want the same outcome, you know, it's good to look back at those time frames. Who were, who were you back then? I mean, I was 2003, 2004, well, until my brother died in 2004, that sucked, but I mean, I was having a ball. I was having, my kids were old enough now, they were getting ready to graduate, you know, and they were old enough where I could go out again, and I, I could have fun, and I was in a band again, I hadn't been in a band for a long time, you know, I was, I was having a blast back then. I was definitely having more fun than I'm having now. <laughs> but, you know, COVID and other things uh, changed the world, but, you know. So you might want to say, well, what part of myself have I lost that I want to recapture? You know, maybe I want to have fun again. Maybe I want to me be in a band again or do whatever. You know, I am in a band again, actually. But, um, you know, different things. Re look at your life. Some of it's better, some of it's worse. You know, take the good and leave the rest. You know, take the what you don't, leave what you don't need. Okay, let's take a look here um, for a Scorpio animal totem. The dog, that's loyalty, that's friendships. Loyalty is the strongest vibe that I get. And I know that Scorpios, that's an important thing for Scorpios, loyalty. You know, you don't like, you are who you are. You're very forthright. I love my Scorpio. I mean, I have Scorpio rising, Venus and Scorpio, Neptune and Scorpio in the first. I got a lot of Scorpio stuff. But I always have got along with Scorpio because they don't beat around the bush. I love that a Scorpio is very frank and direct. And you they don't play head games. You know, that's... I can't stand that bullshit, all right? I don't want to deal with somebody who's that, that, that. They're running their mouth and just talking to shit talkers. I can't stand shit talkers, all right? So, uh, you know, you, Scorpios, even though you're a water sign, you're very down to earth. You're very, dog energy is right on, I would say. Okay. Loyal companion, protector, ally. Im immense capacity for unconditional love. That's what you're looking at here. Service to the pack, group incarnation. To have friends, you must be a friend. Yeah, because the dogs, you know, they love everybody. And they're loyal. Loyalty, I don't think I put the, uh, yeah, loyal companion. Loyalty is what you're going to encounter here for these people that are showing up, particularly this Knight of Pentacles. Loyal. Loyal till the end, they're saying. The guys are coming through with loyal till the end. Wow. All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and just, we're gonna, before we wrap it up, real quick, here's my album is out. People have been listening to it, and I appreciate it so much. It doesn't cost you a dime, at least on Spotify you, and some of the other platforms. You can listen for free. You can add it to playlists for free. Very relaxing, very much bringing up the higher vibrational energy. And this month's psychic uh, readings, for, uh, featured readings, is the solstice reading because that's going on this month. And that'll only be available till the end of June. Always a very popular reading. Um, you know, it's a check-in for the upcoming season. And then a newer reading that I've introduced is the Soulmate Past Life Soul Reading. I have the personal Past Life Soul Reading, which I've done for years. But now I've introduced this new one in the uh, Soulmate one. 
Okay, so that is your reading, Scorpio. Take a breath. I know it's been, these eclipses have been rough. You know, they've been rough on you. So, uh, you know, take some time to get yourself together. Uh, but don't necessarily turn your back on this person because they're looking pretty, pretty fine. I heard pretty fly for a white guy. <laughs> okay. That's just an old song or an old saying. I, I, it's not any kind of race thing. I guess it is, but I mean, it, that's just what came through. No, uh, no, nothing intended by it. I'm just the messenger. Okay, thanks everybody. Have a great month. We'll talk to you again.